half. So now I got to say Twitch live show. Or maybe I should just say Game Master Dave's live show. All right. Where, this is where we talk games uh, or just about upcoming events here on Long Island, New York. So let's level up. All right. So last weekend we had a wonderful event. Uh, it was small. It was online. It was Fat Dog Friday after Thanksgiving Day of Gaming. Uh, that was started by more than 20 or actually exactly 25 years ago by Harvey, a local Long Islander. Uh, he had guys in his basement um, for, uh, hey, Bill, thanks for joining us. Uh, he had guys in his basement. It started out probably with like four to six guys, grew to like 20. Eventually, he moved to a hotel. Uh, I've been attending Fat Dog on and off for uh, about 12 years now. So uh, Chris and I organized a few events uh, this year for a virtual Fat Dog. Uh, we only had um, about 25 people attend. Uh, we got out some of the advertising late. That's not a problem. Those 25 people had a blast. We got some really good positive feedback. Uh, and so here is the little poster that, uh, uh, um, that we made. Uh, so there's the fat dog. Uh, we put, the traveler event apparently went really well. Um, also, we had, uh, uh, we're on Facebook, Fat Dog Con. You can check that out. Um, the, the Traveler event went really well, uh, and Dee Dee's uh, event went amazing. So that is Dee Dee. Uh, she comes to our Bethpage Library board gaming events. Uh, that's where I met. Actually, I met her at my old store, uh, Game Table. So uh, Dee Dee does streaming online of like roll and write and flip and write games. You should check out her channel. Ginger, if you get a chance, put a link of DD's uh, channel up here, her Twitch channel. Give her a follow. Give us a follow if this is the first time you are joining us. Thank you so much for joining us for our little uh, board gaming talk show here on Wednesday nights at 10 p.m. Uh, we like to talk about a few different things. So tonight, uh, we, we are in December now. And so we realized uh, Thanksgiving, uh, we did a lot of events. I used to play games with my family. Uh, I, we used to have people over. Uh, my friend Chris had a Friendsgiving. Uh, we would have like eight or 10 people over playing games. Can't do that now. I think you're all aware of why we can't do it now. Um, so uh, I decided that um, there, I'm going to talk about some holiday games that might be really good for small little groups. My stepson, uh, Devin, just asked me a question. What games are good for eight or more players? Uh, and so he wants to play also online, so eight players online. So I have chosen something that is one of my favorite games. I played it a lot with Ginger. It is Seven Wonders Duel. All right. So there is the game box. Check this out. This came out in, I think, 2015. We're going to go over the stats in just a second. Look, it's got the International Gamers Award. It's got the best two-player game of 2015. It's got the Golden Geek Award from 2015. This game is really good. Now, if you have uh, played Seven Wonders, it's a take off of that game. Seven Wonders is a fantastic game. I actually just mentioned that to my um, stepson, Devin. I said, look, Seven Wonders might be the... <laughs> you can play Seven Wonders real easy online with seven people. Um, so, uh, but, but other games might be a little bit tough. Uh, so here we go. This is what we got going on for Seven Wonders. I usually bring up the BoardGameGeek.com stats. Oops, I, I this printed on two pages for some reason. Look at this, 8.1 rating. Anything over 6.5, Ginger and I like to say, is a fantastic game. Out of overall game... Out of 100,000 games on BoardGameGeek.com, do you see that? 17. That's unbelievable. If you do not have Seven Wonders Duel, it's a great two-player game. Pick it up. Strategy, 18 uh, out of uh, probably about 10,000 different strategy games or, or maybe even 50,000. Rated number 18. That is unbelievable. It is two players and two players only. Uh, it only takes about 30 minutes to play, uh, it's that, which, is, which is about right. Uh, it is designers is Antoine uh, Bauza, Bruno Catala, and artist is Miguel Coambra. Uh, I'm I'm totally destroying those names. I apologize. Uh, the publisher is uh, Repos Production. It is for ages 10 plus. Yes, and that is great. And the weight is not that heavy. Uh, just like Seven Wonders, there's a bunch of iconography on the on the on the on the pieces, and those are a little bit difficult. Uh, hi, Nina. Hey, good to see you. Those are a little bit difficult to uh, grasp the concept from, some of the iconography. 
Uh, but once you get it, it's pretty good. That's probably where most of the difficulty level comes from. Um, uh, so that is our seven wonder stuff there. Uh, so um, let's go over gameplay real quick. First of all, it's very much like in the in the frame of mind or the theme of seven wonders, but it is a very different uh, play style. Instead of being like a drafting game, uh, it is a little bit like a drafting game, but it, but but I'll show you just real quick. The first thing you need to do is uh, set up. And again, we don't cover the whole game. I'm not 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 doing a learn how to play here on our uh, nights on our uh, game nights on Wednesday night. If you really want to learn how to play, you know, let me know. Uh, I can teach you. All it is is $5. I will teach you how to play this game. We can play online. Um, uh, I, there's other games I can teach you too. Uh, you can book me through my website, GameMasterGames.com. Check that out. And I will spend some time with you and I'll teach you some games or play some games with you. I, I run a D&D &D group. Uh, they, they actually pay me to be a Game Master. It's really curious how it's all working out. It's pretty neat. So uh, basically you need to, these are your wonder cards and you're going to make them almost like uh, uh, like you do in Seven Wonders. But actually at the beginning we're going to choose, we're going to end up choosing four of them. So the first player gets to choose one and then the second player gets to choose two. And there's definitely some strategies involved in what you choose and how you work that. Uh, and then the last one goes to the other player. Now I said you're going to have four. Now each one is only drawn two. So what happens is four more come out. And then the second player draws one, you choose which one you want, and then the first player draws two, uh, and then the last one goes over here. So, so you can see this player has got, um, has got uh, four, and this player has got four, and we're ready to begin the game. Now, whoever's gonna go first, basically you can see there's three ages, just like in the Seven Wonders game, and this is how the tableau is set up with the ages cards, and that's how it's set up, and the, the white is flipped up, and the darker color is face down. So you can see I did that right here. So you see the two that are white face up on the top of the pyramid, and those are face up, and then the next three are face down. So you organize this like this. Now how you play is, you basically, during your turn, you get a chance to take a card. That's, that's it. And you're going to add it to your tableau. So you can see here that uh, just like in Seven Wonders, if I want to, I can take this wood. Wood. Let's say this player takes the wood and now they're producing wood towards building their wonders or whatever they're doing. And then this player gets to take a card. So now they are not producing any wood, but they can buy the wood. It's slightly different. They'd have to pay two wood. I'm sorry, two coins. And you start with seven coins. Two coins plus uh, how much wood the uh, opponent is making. So right here, they're already making wood. So this may not be the best idea, but let's just do it. So I pay three coins to the bank and I'm able to take this. So I'm not giving the coins to the other player like in Seven Wonders, uh, but it's just going to the bank. So that's a little bit different. Um, now, when let's say this player takes this victory point card, there's some strategy. Uh-oh, I froze. I froze, I froze. Oh, it looks like I'm frozen. Hopefully I don't lose. Okay, I think I'm back. I froze there for a second. Yeah, I was showing off the laundry and trying to get closer to the uh, to the internet. Uh, maybe that was an issue with the phone. I'm not too sure. So hopefully you still stuck with us. Look like you did. Hey, I'm Game Master Dave. Let's level up. Let's continue our little uh, Seven Wonders thing. Um, so uh, so anyway, here's the thing. There's some strategies on what pieces you take because if you grab this card here and now this one. Uh, shows up. Now this one sh it gets flipped over because you sort of like unlocked it. So there's a really big strategy on what cards you choose and um, uh, what uh, cards uh, might be. Uh, yes, uh, Bill, I think the screen should come back in just a second. Yeah, okay, cool. Thank you, Nina. Thank you, Bill, for letting me know. Um, so uh, there's a huge strategy in what cards you choose because maybe I don't want to choose this one because then my opponent gets to see these two cards before I do. All right, so uh, what happens in this game? So what ha can happen next? I can also take a card and build a wonder as long as I can pay the prerequisites and then I get the benefits of whatever the wonder is. 
Now, science works a little bit differently. If I collect two of the same science symbols, now these are not the same science symbols, but if I collect two of the same science symbols, I get to choose another science symbol up here, and those give me huge benefits. By the way, there's, I think, three ways to win this game. Uh, one is by having the most victory points at the end, like, like a lot of games. The second way is military. We're going to talk about that in just a second, okay? And the third way is science. That's why I wanted to bring this up. I should have brought it up at the beginning. But um, if you get, uh, oh, no, wait, if you get seven different science symbols? No, I have it all wrong. That's seven wonders. <laughs> oh, I can't remember how you win by science. Okay, well, we'll, we'll go back. Uh, but here's how you win by military. Now, you'll see some military. So he got one military I icon here. So what happens is that this little military thing shifts over, okay? And so uh, right now, if the game were to end, this player on this side, because he shifted the military over this way, would end up with two victory points, four military victory points. However, if I shift it down to here, this opponent has to surrender two coins, and now that's worth five victory points. Now, I, the other player might choose some military cards and start shifting it back. But let's say net would be pushing this down here for every military shield. This Now the surrender has to surrender five coins. And if the token here, the military token, ends in this spot, it's 10 victory points at the end of the game. However, look at this. If I'm able to get, even in the middle of the game, even in the first age, which won't happen, there's not enough military there, but maybe by the second or third age, I'm just able to push this military token all the way there. Game ends, and it's a military victory. So anybody that's watching, do you remember how to win by science? I can't believe that. This is embarrassing. I know how to play so many games, sometimes I forget. Okay, so anyway, once all these cards are chosen, then we bring out the second age, and you can see the setup for that one. And once all those cards are chosen by the players, we bring out the third age. By the way, you can also burn cards for money, just like in regular Seven Wonders. In the third age, there are guilds. Those are like the purple cards here. So those are guilds that work, uh, they've got really cool combinations, just like in the Seven Wonders game. Uh, so uh, uh, th those are great cards to try to get. And that's basically it. Uh, this game is super fast. Once you know how to play, I mean, it, it, it says 30 minutes. That probably includes setup time. It takes about five or six minutes just to set up the game. Uh, uh, it can be super, super fast if everybody knows what they're doing and grabbing stuff and planning your strategy. Uh, we love it. It's uh, great. I highly recommend it for the holidays, especially if you are staying at home and you only have you and you know, a family member, spouse, or whatever, that you only got two people to play with. Get this game. Here is my November results for the games that I played in November. I am surprised that actually it's only 13 games. Some of my war games didn't end up on here because I started them in October and they're still going on on Vassal.org. I'm sorry, VassalEngine.org. Uh, and uh, But here we go. I played regular Seven Wonders um, uh, two times and Ingenious three times with Ginger. And there's some Azul, Tetris the Card Game, Seven Wonders, Duel, Agora. I'm playing that on Board Game Geek uh, with my friend Rich. And I'm sorry, not Board Game Geek, on uh, Board Game Arena. Cartographers, I played at Fat Dog on DD's Twitch channel. That was fun. Uh, played with Ginger and Bill and Rich also. Yiper, uh, I think that's how you say it. Um, we checked that out on, uh, what, did I play that one? I, I don't even remember playing that one. I must have done it on uh, Board Game Arena uh, or, uh... oh, that's right. It was a card game we played. That's right. I Thank you, honey. Yes, we were checking it out from the library. Yes, that's right. And Kingdom Builder, I think I played with uh, Rich and Bill and my whole crew there. Um, six of the seven science symbols. Thank you, Bill. Uh, and Bill, you just learned how to play Seven Wonders just recently. Uh, so that was great. Hey, join us for Over Coffee. Um, it's our, uh, it's our talk show where we talk games or almost any other topics. This is at 6.30 Eastern AM, Eastern Standard Time. I know it's a tough time, um, to, uh, to play. Uh, but, uh, we are talking games or almost any other topic. Join Rich, John, myself, and Doug uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Give us a follow on LI Tabletop. Yes. Thank you, Ginger. So on Friday night, we are playing Sagrada on the Bethpage Library Zoom Room. 
So check that out. Ginger's put the link up there. I, I'm gonna be. I'm started. A, I made an event, I think, or shared around the event for the library setup on Facebook. I'm gonna be making some posts on my website too to get everybody to come to that. 6:30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Friday. We're playing Sagrada, and we all know you want to be on my team, right? <laughs> Wait a second. I flipped it there. A second. I didn't know you were coming over. Okay. Yeah, I, I know that now. <laughs> Oh, it's not flipping. There we go. Sagrada, Billy, you're on my team. My Nina, Nina. No, Nina no, no. All stick together, Sagrada. No, 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 no. I know Bill's on my team. Six thirty-five. Nina, you can be on my Nina team too. And Bill, I'll see you then. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I've been telling everybody they want to be in. So Ginger and I are going to set it up. We're going to play, but we're going to leave it up to the audience to like tell us what to do. You guys can backseat game. We got no problem with that whatsoever. So, what else I got going on? This is a super special event uh, hosted by my friend Steve. I am going to play on Sunday night. I am going to play Untitled Goose Game. I have no uh, no spoilers. Don't tell me anything about this game. I have no idea what it's about. And people tell me it's fun. And people tell me it's crazy. And I saw some gameplay for a short amount of time. But, but Steve tells me he wants to see what my reaction is. So live and unedited, Untitled Goose Game, Game Master Games plays for the first time on Twitch.tv. Hey, right here. You're right here. So if you hit that um, if you hit that follow button, if you haven't hit that follow button somewhere on the screen you're watching on right now, then you will get an alert when I go here. This is Sunday night, this coming Sunday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. There's my little goose. And Snuggle Bunny says, Snuggle Bunny says, don't hurt the gooses. That's right. Snuggle Bunny knows. So, yes, uh, don't hurt the gooses. We what? Oh, <laughs> I think Bill is choosing. Eeny, meeny, miny. Bill, Bill, it's it's me, right? It's me. Okay. We know it's me, Ginger. I don't know what you're talking about. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, here's all my uh, other things. You can reach me at Dave at GameMasterGames.com. Fa there's my Facebook page, Cosmic Comic and Comics and Games, Legendary Realms, Main Street, Board Game Cafe. We love to support those great stores. Uh, we will eventually move to the LI Tabletop Twitch channel for this show. Right now they're hosting us. Uh, I got my semi-daily blog on GameMasterGames.com. Haven't had a chance to write much on there recently because I am working 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. delivering packages for the holiday season. Yes, it started already. There's Ginger Business, Ginger's Business, Joyful Day Ceremonies, upcoming events. There's that Socrata at the Bethpage Library. Uh, there's that Untitled Goose Game. Over Coffee, we already talked about YouTube channel, Patreon, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch. And if you want to uh, catch this, if you don't catch it right now, you can uh, freeze this frame and uh, write it down or uh, like it or go uh, save it on your <laughs> computer or something. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, we've got great production value here on our Twitch channel. Thank you so much for coming to watch. Uh, we really appreciate it. Nina, Bill... Uh, the other crew of people must be busy tonight. Uh, and, of course, I'm putting this on YouTube at Game Master Dave uh, YouTube channel. Got lots of other great videos on there, too. Uh, and so, with that said, give yourself 100 experience points. And until we meet again across the internet, uh, keep your uh, dice dry, your uh, rule books ready, and especially know how to uh, win the game with the science symbols. That that would be a good thing before you go online with <laughs> with talking about a game. <laughs> and uh, your your wonders strong, Ooh, super strong. See you later. Have a good night. Wow. <laughs> Ginger said, "Wonders strong." I think. Lay it out.